I had the good fortune of coaching Shabazz uh, for, his, for his years here. And right now, uh, I live in Connecticut, which if anybody knows how Connecticut is, we have one pro team, and that's the Yukon Huskies. And uh, so that's the... So I get a lot of, a lot of questions from you know, people are crazy about UConn down there, and I get a lot of questions about like, hey, did you know Shabazz was gonna be this good and all that stuff? And I always kind of think about it, and there's two things I say. Is first of all, just from like a sheer basketball perspective, he had unbelievable court vision. He could see things that Nobody else could see. He would do some things sometimes. I'd go, no, 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 no. Oh, yes. Yes, nice job, Shabazz. Um, but more importantly was the second thing, and it's just a short story to, to tell you about Shabazz that used to happen very, very frequently, is on Fridays, we used to have late practice. It would go 4.30 to 6.30, and I'd be ready to go home, and I'd uh, hear, right, Coach Cass, can I, can I grab a ball? grab an extra ball. I'm like, sure, what are you going to do? And I go downstairs, get the stuff, and everybody else would be cleared out, but there's Shabazz with his iPod and his headphones just getting more shots up. And then I remember next day would come, Saturday morning, we'd have practice pretty early, 10, 11, and I'd get this ding on my cell phone at 8.39. Coach, what time are you getting there? I want to get some more shots up. And I'd get there early, hear the locker room shut, door shut, and there would be Shabazz an hour before other people. And so for me, that kind of sums it up in terms of there's a lot of guys with great court vision, but there's very few people who work as hard as that. And for me, there was, he, Shabazz seemed most at peace all the time when it was him in the gym, just again and again and again and again. So, to keep it brief, Shabazz, enjoy it. You deserve it. Great work. Four years is going to go by so fast. You got to take advantage of your opportunities. And you only get um, high school for four years, unless you get kept back. But you only get high school for so long. And you got to take advantage of every opportunity you have. To get ahead, to, ahead in life, you got to take the advantage that somebody else won't take. And uh, the second thing I was saying is, whatever you do, it don't got to be basketball. It don't got to be a sport. It could be cheerleading. It, it could be, it could be whatever you want to do, but at the end of the day, you got to find your motivation. You got to find, you know, your, your, the inspiration in your life. And you know, everyone, you know, from the seniors, you know, calling out their mother. You know, my motivation was my mom's. You know, since I was five years old, she put a basketball in my hand. It was times I gave up, but she was right behind me. I seen my mom struggle throughout my whole life, and. You know, every single day it hurt me. And, um, you know, I just t tell my mother I want to do what's best for her. And, you know, getting a degree and also playing basketball and hopefully making it to the next level is going to definitely help her out. So um, just two things in life is never take nothing for granted and um, just find your motivation and, and let your motivation push you throughout your whole life.